Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick tutorial on creating pillars for an alien landscape in Terrigen 4. Terrigen is well known for its capabilities to create photorealistic scenes. It's also capable of creating fantastical shapes and worlds. Today, we're going to focus on two tools, the Vector Displacement Shader and the Vortex Shader, and show how we can use them together to create these interesting alien pillars. We'll start out in an empty scene where we'll start off by creating a new surface layer that we'll use as a container for the pillar we'll be building. Go ahead and turn off the Apply Color checkbox, and we'll get rid of the fractal breakup here too. Next, create a simple shape shader that's going to be the basis of our pillar, and plug it in as a child layer to the surface layer. This will let us use the surface layer to mask the colors and textures of the pillar. We're going to make this shape an ellipse with a size of 50 by 100 meters. Come to the Displacement tab, check Apply Displacement, and we'll set the amplitude to 100 meters, and give it a smooth step edge profile of 25 meters. Okay, we're off to a good start, but now we need to make this shape more interesting. There are a few ways we could do this, warping or a redirect shader, for example. Today, we'll use a vector displacement shader, which is going to allow us to apply a color as a sideways displacement. This is different than the redirect shader, which takes only displacement inputs. You can use any sort of pattern you'd like as an input here. I'm going to use a few function nodes I prepared earlier that generate a sine wave color pattern. Now before we can attach this to our vector displacement shader, we need to convert it to a vector using the build vector node. In this case, I'm going to use the x input, which is going to apply this pattern as displacement in the x direction only. Now we can plug it into the vector function input here, and we'll set the final multiplier to 5 which is going to make the displacement more pronounced. And that's starting to look a little bit more interesting. Now, I want this displacement restricted just to the pillar, not to the background. So what we can do is copy our simple shape shader, and let's make it a little bit larger, say 60 by 110, and give it a 5 meter smooth edge profile. Now we can use this as a mask for our surface layer, which will also mask any child nodes attached, which in this case is our displacement. Now this is starting to look pretty interesting already. Let's take it a little further with the vortex warp shader. We'll add that in line after the displacement shader. And let's set the radius to 100. And we can see that this is cutting off a little bit on the side which means that we need to make our mask a little bit larger. Let's try 120 by 120. Cool, now we have a twisty tower. If we want to add colors or other textures, we can do that in the same branch of nodes. For example, let's add a power fractal color before the warp shader so that it will get twisted as well. Let's set this to scales of one, 5, 0.01. We're going to do some gray colors. We'll uncheck displacement and set the noise flavor to Perlin ridges. Now you'll notice this doesn't immediately show up. This is because we're working before the base colors of the terrain. So we're going to need to mask out a hole by attaching our simple shape shader to the base colors as a mask, and we'll do invert mask. And you'll start to see these colors start to get warped along with the shape. Now if we want to add some texture that isn't warped, we can do that after the vertex shader. Or if it's something that needs normals to work, we can do it after the compute terrain. For example, we can add Wasa's tension cracks, which you can find on the PlanetSide forum at the link in the description. So we'll add a new surface layer after the compute terrain, include the cracks as a child, 
and we'll mask it using the same simple shape that we used above. Just make sure to turn off the color so it doesn't cover up our power fractal again. And there we have a cool looking pillar for our landscape. Add in a few more planets, tweak the atmosphere, and you can end up with something quite alien. Enjoy!